Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Now today we're gonna to launch into a brief tutorial and share everything you need to know about using Shopify discount codes in 2021. Now I often get asked how to generate Shopify discount codes and how to effectively use these offers in marketing activities. So therefore today I'm gonna to break down everything you need to know in this tutorial. Okay, now before we get started, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into Shopify discount codes. <music> Okay, so here we are in our Shopify store. The first thing you need to do is log into your Shopify dashboard. Then simply navigate over to discounts. And under discounts, we have discount codes and automatic discounts. Today, we're gonna to break down both these discount types. First, we have discount codes. These are discount codes that you can create and send to your audience. And depending on how you want to market these discount codes is completely up to you. However, when a customer or a potential customer reaches the checkout on your Shopify store, those individuals can apply the voucher here. And depending on how you set up your discount codes, those individuals will see a discounted price. So to create a unique discount code that you can use in your promotion, simply come down and click create discount code. Then up here, you can go ahead and generate a code or you can create your own unique code. I recommend creating your own unique code depending on the type of promotion you want to create. For example, it could be summertime and I wanna give 30% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in summer sale 30. So go ahead and create your unique and creative code. Then come down and select the type of discount that you want to create. For example, is it a percentage fixed amount free shipping, buy X and get Y. So what we wanna do is simply click percentage because we wanna give 30% off when someone uses this code up here. However, if you like, you can click fixed amount, free shipping, or if someone buys something, they get something else. And then once you've selected your discount code type, come down to value. Now, because we selected percentage under type, what we wanna do is enter in the discount value percentage. For us, that is 30%. So we're going to come down and select here and type in 30. Now, if we scroll down, we can select applies to all products, specific collections or specific products. We're going to select all products. Then down here we have minimum requirements. I can select none, minimum purchase amount, and then I can select a dollar amount or minimum quantity of items. So for example, if I select minimum quantity of items, I can come down and type in two. And this just means you can see the preview on the far right hand side, minimum purchase of two items for this 30% discount to apply. However, I don't want any minimum requirements, so I'm gonna select none. Then if we scroll down further, we have customer eligibility. If you already have customers, you can select a specific group of customers or specific customers. So for example, let's say you had a specific customer that buys a lot of product from you monthly. Then what you could do is find that customer from your customers. You can either type in email or name, and then your particular discount code that you've created only applies for that particular customer. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we want everyone to be eligible to use this discount code because we wanna use this code in our marketing promotions and then come down to usage limits. You can limit the number of times the discount code can be used in total or limit to one use per customer. What we wanna do is a limit to one use per customer. Then below usage limits, we have active dates. We can go ahead and create a start date and set an end date. However, if you want to activate the code right away, then leave everything as it is and your discount code will be activated as soon as we save these changes. Then if we scroll down, we have save discount code. Now, before you go ahead and save your discount code, navigate up to the right hand side and make sure that your summary is correct. This is a summary of all the details you've just entered. Make sure your summary is correct and then come down and click save discount code when you're ready for this code to go live. 
And congratulations, just like that, you've created a discount code for your audience. If we come down to the right hand side, you can see the overall summary. You can see that this code is active. And down here, you can see the amount of times that this code has been used. Now to simply share this code, all you need to do is click get shareable link and you can share this code via email or other social media channels. Now what you can also do is come down here and copy your discount code, then embed and integrate this code into your marketing materials. For example, if you engage in email marketing, what you can do is add this code into your email marketing campaigns. Or if you advertise on Facebook or any other form of social media, you can talk about your new products, your new sale and add this discount code for people to use. Okay, so now if we navigate back, we can see basic information of our current discount codes. Now, if we navigate over to automatic discounts, this is where we can create and activate automated codes. Now, these are codes that are automatically applied to the customer's cart. Basically, the customer does not need to create a discount code like we showed you earlier. This is automatic. So what we want to do is go ahead and create an automatic discount. Enter the name of your discount. We're going to go ahead and go 30% off summer sale. And then down here we have discount types again, percentage, fixed amount, buy X, get Y. We're going to select percentage and then come down to value. Again, we're going to add 30%. And then down here, select where your discount applies. Does it apply to all products, specific collections, specific products? We're going to go ahead and select specific collections. And then down here, what we would do is enter in our summer collection. However, because this is just a tutorial, we don't actually have any collections. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and click all products. Then if we scroll down to minimum requirements, we can add a minimum amount in dollars. We can also add minimum quantity of items. And remember, if you select any of these options, you want to disclose that information to your audience. So I'm going to go ahead and add $1. Now all our products are more than $1. This just shows that any amount that is purchased from our store will receive the 30% off discount. Then below minimum requirements, we have active dates, start date and end date if we want to select an end date, but we want this automatic discount to be activated as soon as we publish. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Then up on the right hand side, you can see your overall summary. Make sure this is correct before you come down and click save discount. And when you're ready to publish your new automatic discount, just click save discount. And just like that, your automatic discount has been created. So if we navigate back, you can see we have one automatic discount. Again, similar to what we mentioned with discount codes, you want to actively promote this 30% off summer sale. Now you can also select your discounts and you can navigate up to actions and you can delete your discount if you like. The same goes for discount codes. If we navigate down to our one discount code and select actions, we can come down and delete discount code, disable discount codes, or enable discount codes. So for example, if we didn't set a date to end this campaign, to end this discount code, we can simply disable and enable when we like, or simply just go ahead and delete your discount code. You can also see active, scheduled, and expired. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in today's brief tutorial to help you get started with Shopify discount codes. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's brief Shopify tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about the Shopify tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching the Shopify tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like below the video and subscribe to the channel and that way you'll stay updated with new videos weekly. And I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.